first technique is there will be multiple relations for both superclass and subclasses. At first, we will create a relation for the superclass based on the rules we have already seen in previous seven steps. That relation will contain all the attributes and primary key as well. Next, we will create relation or table for each subclasses. Those subclasses might have some attributes which will be added on that particular subclass relation. Along with these attributes, the primary key of the superclass will be added as an attribute of each subclasses. These techniques are applicable for all types of constraints like total or partial or disjoint or overlapping. Let's see an example. Here we can see specialization of employee where the subclass of employee are secretary, technician and engineer. We will be creating one relation for the superclass and some relation for each of the subclasses where we will also be adding their own attributes in the relation. For example, here secretary has typing speed. So the typing speed attribute will be added on the secretary table and same goes for the technician and the engineer. Lastly, we will be adding the primary key of the superclass which is SSN and adding it to each of the subclasses. Here, the SSN in the subclass is basically the foreign key which is referring to the employee key attribute or employee's primary key SSN. In this way, following the first technique, we can convert an EER model into our relation. Second technique says that there will be multiple relations but only for subclasses. There will be no relation for the parent class which we have noticed in the previous technique. In this technique, there will be relation for each subclasses. If there are m number of subclasses, there will be m number of relations. And each relations that we have created based on the subclass will contain the attributes of that subclass plus the attributes of its parent class. This option only works for the specialization whose subclasses are total. Please remember that if the specialization is not total, this method will not work. Here you can see an example of the second approach we have studied earlier. As the constraints between superclass and subclass is total, so we can implement this approach. Here vehicle superclass is specialized into car and truck subclasses. We are creating two relations for two subclasses car and truck. The attribute of car like maximum speed, number of passenger is added as the attribute of that particular relation car and same goes for the truck entity. Though we are not creating any separate relation for the superclass but all the attributes of the superclass is added on both of the subclasses. As we know, the subclass inherit all the attributes from the superclass. So based on the 8B technique, we are adding superclasses attribute like price, license plate number into the subclasses attributes. Here, the primary key of the superclass is vehicle ID and this vehicle ID is added as a key attribute in both of the subclasses. Why all the subclasses? As the constraints are total, so there shouldn't be any subclass except car and truck. 